Husilat. Detailed and clear in exposition. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Hamim. Allah is praiseworthy, Lord of honor. The compilation and orderly arrangement of this Quran proceeds from the most gracious, the ever merciful God. It is a book, the verses of which are detailed and clear in exposition. It is beautifully interlinked, and it is in a language that makes the meanings eloquently clear. It is very useful for a people who have knowledge. It is a bearer of good tidings and a warner. Yet most of these people turn away from it because they do not even give it ear. And they say, Our hearts are fortified within a covering against that book towards which you call us. We are deaf in the ear, and there exists a barrier between us and you. So carry on your work according to your creed, and surely we are the workers in accordance with our own doctrines. Say, I am but a human being like yourselves, with the only difference that it is revealed to me that your God is one God. So stick to the straight path leading to him and ask for his protection, and woe be to the polytheists. Those who do not present the zakat, and who are disbelievers in the hereafter also. On the contrary, those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, there awaits them a reward never to be cut off. Say, would you really disbelieve in him who created the earth in two aeons? And do you set up compeers with him? He alone is the Lord of the worlds. He placed therein firm mountains rising above its surface and showered it with his blessings and placed in it various provisions according to a set measure. Provisions to which all those who require them have equal rights, and all this he created in four aeons. Again, he directed himself towards the space. Behold, it was like a mass of gas. The Almighty God said to it, and to the earth, Come both of you, in obedience to me, willingly or unwillingly. They said, We obey you with all our will. So he ordained them seven heavens in two aeons, and assigned to each heaven its relevant function. And we decked the nearest heaven with lamps, shining stars for light, and made it to guard. Such is the decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. But if even now they turn away, then say, I have warned you of a scourge which will be like this scourge that befell the people of Ad and Thamud. When the messengers of God came to them successively, from before them and from behind them, from all directions with the teaching, worship none but Allah. They said, If Allah had willed to send messengers, he would certainly have sent angels. So we are indeed disbelievers in that teaching with which you have been sent. As for the people of Ad, they behaved arrogantly in the land, without any justification, and said, Who is mightier than we? Do they not see that Allah who had created them is mightier than them? And not only that they behaved arrogantly, they went on denying our messages persistently. So we sent upon them a furious wind for several of their ominous days in order to make them suffer a punishment of humiliation in this life, and the punishment which awaits them in the hereafter will surely be more humiliating, and against which they will not be helped. And as for the tribe of Thamud, we gave them guidance, but they preferred misguidance to guidance. So the scourge of a humiliating punishment seized them, on account of the bad deeds they had done. Yet we delivered those who believed and guarded against evil. And beware of the day when the enemies of Allah will be resurrected and driven towards the fire, while they will be formed into different groups. Till when they all reach it, their hearing and their eyes and their skins will be testifying to and bearing witness against them 
as to their misdeeds. And they will say to their skins, Why did you bear witness against us? They will reply, Allah made us speak as he had given speech to everything else. And disbelievers, it is he who created you the first time, and to him you have been brought back. And while committing sinful acts, you could not hide yourselves from the fact that neither your own hearing, nor your own eyes, nor your own skin should bear witness against you. As a matter of fact, you had assumed that even Allah did not know much of what you used to do. And it was this very wrong belief of yours, which you hold about your Lord, that has ruined you, so that you have now become of the losers. Now if in this state of theirs they show patience, even then the fire is their resort. And if they ask to be allowed to approach the threshold of God's throne, they will not be of those who are allowed to approach the threshold to seek forgiveness and mercy. And we had assigned to them certain companions who made these sinful acts which were being committed in their presence and those which had been done behind them seem fair and attractive to them. The verdict of punishment stands confirmed against them, as it did in the case of the sinful communities of jinn and ordinary people who had passed away before them. As a matter of fact, they all were losers. And those who took to disbelief say, Do not listen to this Qur'an, but when it is recited, interrupt it by making noise so that you may gain the upper hand. We shall most surely make those who disbelieve meet with severe punishment, and we shall certainly recompense them for the worst what they did. Such is the punishment of the enemies of Allah. It is the fire. They shall find in it a long-lasting home. The punishment is a recompense of their persistently denying our messages. There the disbelievers will say, Our Lord, show us those two sets of people who led us astray from among both the jinn and ordinary people, and we may trample them under our feet, with the result that they become of the most abased and humiliated ones. Verily, those who say Allah is our Lord, and then remain steadfast and follow the straight path, the angels will descend upon them, saying, have no fear nor grieve, rather rejoice at the glad tidings of receiving the gardens of paradise which you have been promised. We are your patron in the present life and in the hereafter, and you shall find in it all that you desire, and you shall have therein all that you ask for. By way of hospitality and reward from the great protector, ever merciful God. And who speaks more fair than the person who calls people towards Allah and accordingly does what is right and says, I am invariably of those who submit before God. And good and evil are not alike. Repel evil with that benign and graceful way which is best. And lo, the person between whom and you there is enmity will behave as if he were your warm-hearted friend. Yet it is only the steadfast and patiently persevering who are allowed this grace, and it is only those who possess a large share of good who are allowed this moral standard. Should some sort of trouble from Satan vex you, seek refuge in Allah, for surely he, only he is the all-hearing, all-knowing. And the night and the day and the sun and the moon are some of his signs. Pay no homage to the sun or to the moon. Rather pay homage to Allah who created them. If it is him whom you really worship. If they wax too proud to prostrate before him, let them know that those who are the near ones of your Lord glorify him night and day and they never grow weary of it. And it is one of his signs that the earth that looks to you desolate stirs up with life and swells, producing herbage when we shower rainwater on it. 
Verily he, the Almighty Lord, who gives it life, will surely raise the dead to life as well. Verily he is the possessor of power over every desired thing. Surely those who follow crooked ways regarding our teachings are not hidden from us. You can judge for yourselves whether he who is cast into the fire better or he who comes on the day of resurrection in peaceful security. Now after this clarification, you are free to do what you will. But remember, he keeps a keen watch over all that you do. Those who disbelieve in the reminder, the Quran, when it comes to them, while it is truly an invincible book, they will meet the fate of the lost ones. Falsehood cannot approach it, neither from the front nor from behind. It is a revelation that proceeds portion by portion from one, all wise, the most praiseworthy. Nothing is said in the form of objection to you what was not already said to the messengers before you. Verily, your Lord is master of protection for the believers, and also master of woeful retribution for the disbelievers. Had we made it a Quran in indistinct and inexpressive language, these fault finders would have surely said, Why has not the subject matter of its verses been made clear in exposition? What? Can indistinct and inexpressive language and an eloquently clear language be one and the same thing? Say, it is a wonderful guidance and healing to those who believe. But as to those who do not believe, there is deafness in their ears, and this Qur'an is obscure to them with regard to its factual truth. And they are, as if to say, being called to from a place afar. And indeed, we gave Moses the scripture, but when the followers of the scripture began tampering with it, differences arose about it. Had it not been a word of promise already made by your Lord, the judgments between them, the disbelievers, would have been passed long ago by the destruction of those who dispute about the prophecy. And they are in disquieting and grave doubt concerning this, the fulfillment of the prophecy. He that does right does it for the good of his own soul, and he that does evil it shall recoil on him, and your Lord is the least unjust to his servants. He alone is accredited to have knowledge of the promised hour, and no fruit come forth from their sheaths, nor does any female conceive, nor does she give birth to a being, but everything takes place according to his knowledge. The day when he will call out to them, the polytheists, saying, where are my partners you associated with me? They will say, We declare before you, None of us is a confessor now that they are your partners. Not only that, those false gods whom they called upon in their worship before that will be lost to them. They will know for certain that they have no place of escape. A person does not grow weary of praying for good, but if evil befalls him, he becomes despondent despaired of all hope. Yet, if we show him mercy from ourselves, after he has suffered affliction, he will surely say, This is my due. I do not believe that the promised hour will ever come. And if I am at all brought back to my Lord, I shall of course have with him the very best of all the goodly things. Yet, on the day of requital, we will surely tell those who disbelieve plainly all that they did, and accordingly we will make them suffer a terrible punishment. And when we bestow a favor on a person, he turns aside ungratefully and behaves with pride. But when evil befalls him, he is full of lengthy supplications and prayers. Say, have you ever considered that if it, the Qur'an, be from Allah, and yet you disbelieve in it? Who is steeped in greater error than the one who has gone far in opposition to him and his Qur'an? 
we shall soon show these disbelievers for their guidance, our signs, even in the remotest regions of the earth and in their own persons, until it becomes quite manifest to them that this Qur'an is the lasting truth in fact. Is it not enough for them that the Lord indeed keeps watch over everything? Look, they are in disquieting and grave doubt about the meeting with their Lord. Beware, he certainly encompasses everything in his knowledge and power.